New tonight, parents who lost children because of their experiences on social media were on Capitol Hill today. They urged lawmakers to pass a bill that would force online platforms to keep their youngest users from dangerous content. The National Desk, Janae Bowens, has a closer look at the proposed legislation. The Kids Online Safety Act is getting a vote on the Senate floor this week. I spoke with a mom who lost her son by suicide. She said this bill could have saved her child's life. Relentless and threatening cyberbullying on Instagram and messaging apps led to David Molak dying by suicide when he was just 16 years old. David's story really started a year before that. He was addicted to social media and online gaming. David's mother, Maureen, has joined forces with other parents who have lost children to harm from social media to push lawmakers to pass the Kids Online Safety Act. It would have forced social media networks, messaging apps, and video game sites to put measures in place to prevent harassment, sexual exploitation, and bullying. Young users would also be required to have the option to limit or opt out of things like autoplay videos and personalized feeds. This is not a partisan issue. It's a personal issue. The bill has overwhelming bipartisan support. How grateful we are to each of the advocates for repeatedly coming to the Hill, taking the time to visit with members. That is why there are 70 names on this bill. And though it did not save her son, Maureen hopes it will save other lives. Well, I would do anything to have my son back. Seeing this bill across the finish line is my second greatest wish. 1998 was the last time a law was passed to protect children online. Critics are raising First Amendment and privacy concerns about the bill. Even if it passes the Senate, it still has to get through the House. I'm Janae Bowens for the National Desk, America's News Now. Janae, thank you. And